Hey Cancer, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for the week of October 21st through the 27th. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. And this is for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. And we have the star at the bottom of the deck, which is Aquarius. Maybe you are connecting to an Aquarius. Maybe you have Aquarius placements. We have the Page of Wands, the Emperor, which is Aries, Five of Cups, Page of Pentacles, and the Page of Cups. Lots of pages coming through. Maybe you are connecting to a younger energy, uh, maybe a maybe somebody new. Maybe this is about a new connection, a new opportunity, maybe a new path. It feels like something is just starting from the beginning here. It kind of feels like this could be about you giving someone a chance or giving yourself a chance to explore something new. And maybe with that Five of Cups, you could be going through a situation right now that is affecting you personally. But I feel like what you're going through with this new opportunity could be helping to heal that. And I also feel like with the Emperor, you could be connecting to a very strong um, person here. It feels like this person could be somebody that is giving you a sense of maybe hope or optimism for the future. We're going to clarify that in a second, but let's first see what we get here for the Five of Cups. We have the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like right now you really, really want to have some sort of successful outcome this week when it comes to maybe a investment. Maybe this is about your job. Maybe right now you're dealing with the loss of something and I kind of feel like what's on your mind is getting something back or getting on the right path to maintaining that. We have the Nine of Swords, the Ten of Swords, and the Hierophant, which is Taurus. So Cancer kind of feels like right now there could be something that's really stressing you and worrying you out. Maybe related to a commitment or something that you've invested a lot of time and energy into. So it kind of feels like you're going through the motions this week. I feel like there's a, a balance of both really positive, pleasant energies as well as some of the more um, very heavy real ones. Kind of like you could be going through a situation that cannot be you know ignored or masked kind of like the universe is saying this is not something that we can just throw you know glitter on and just make it pretty it's like this is a very real situation and i feel like with the ten of swords maybe this is about the fact that you're getting close to sort of um maybe not feeling hmm it's like i don't know how to describe it just yet i feel like i need some more information so we're gonna go ahead and clarify the emperor Queen of Swords. So maybe right now what you are doing is you're thinking about yourself and maybe that requires you to create a boundary between you and somebody else. Kind of like you could be realizing right now that you're, maybe it's a bittersweet realization, right? That in order for you to get this Ten of Pentacles, in order for you to succeed and get to where you want to go, you have to create somewhat of a block between you and somebody or something that no longer serves you. Maybe with the Two of Wands, you're thinking about your future, you're thinking about what's best, and you may have to put your foot down and you know, maybe cut someone off, or I don't know, it's kind of like there's something about you rec recognizing that better times require change, or it's, it's a challenging sort of read in, in the sense that it's not coming through as clearly as it normally would. We have the moon, which is your energy behind the queen of swords here. So, you know, I wonder if this is something that like you've given a lot of thought to, but you haven't admitted it yet or you haven't said it out loud. Kind of like this is a really personal introspection um, sort of moment here. But let's let's just keep going. I'm not going to give up on this reading uh, just because it's giving me a hard time to like explain coherently. And that's on me. Um, let's go ahead and clarify the page of cups. We have the Ace of Swords. So I, yeah, I feel like there's something really clear. And it's it feels like it's a tough realization or a hard one, right? It feels like this is not something easy. However, I do feel like you're getting the clarity that is necessary for you to move on and move on from something that has not been working or has been even harmful to you in a sense. We have the Three of Swords, the Four of Swords, and the Moon, which is your energy again. So coming through with that Page of Cups, 
I feel like right now, Cancer, this week is about you doing what you need to do to heal. I feel like you just want to heal. You just want to recover. You just want to recharge. And you've been in a situation maybe for quite some time that has been taking so much from you. And I feel like with that Three of Swords and the Four of Swords, this is you saying, I'm ready to let something go because it hurts and just focus on my healing. Just focus on getting better, recovery, right? Like getting away from not feeling like myself because of something um, that maybe you were giving the benefit of the doubt to. Maybe you were giving somebody a chance here. Let's clarify the Page of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you have to make a decision this week. I feel like this is about you making that decision that maybe you have been putting off. Maybe you have been not really trying to think about it, but I feel like something about this week is going to push you to make that decision because at the end of the day, Cancer, I feel like this is about you getting away from something that has been weighing you down for a long time so you can get back to being happy. We have the Strength, which is Leo, the Magician, which is Gemini in Virgo Energy, and the Five of Pentacles. So I feel like that Five of Pentacles confirms that you're ready to let this go. You're ready to walk away from this because it's been disappointing. And I also feel like this is about you taking back control of your life in a sense. So I feel like this week is going to be really important because it feels like you're finally going to sort of, I guess, use that courage that you have and apply it for your, your future. Kind of like you're manifesting this change that you know that you need by saying, you know what, I'm ready to step up to this and say that I don't want it anymore. I'm ready to walk away from it. I'm ready to really explain how I feel. Um, kind of like this is harsh but necessary. You know, it feels it feels like a very cathartic energy as well. So really love this for you. Hope you take it all in. And if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like. Please subscribe and I will see you in the next one.